hey hey what's up and welcome back to my channel i'm going to be doing a um i guess a discussion on my uh NECA ultimate friday the 13 part 6 jason now they have different ways that they say the title of these figures like you have a uh, NECA ultimate jason you know like it's like part 3 jason or part 4 jason or they actually do say the whole title like they say like NECA ultimate friday the 13 like it's like part 6 jason lives which is this figure right here so they do have different ways of how they say the title of the figure, you know. So I'm just going to call it NECA Ultimate Part 6 Jason. And of course this is based on like Jason Voorhees' appearance in uh, this film right here. Which had the same po poster of course, you know. And NECA makes some excellent like awesome like coverage, you know, that really like look exactly how the movie actually did. Like the poster for like, the movie when it was actually like in theaters, you know. They actually used that same poster that they put on there like their, uh, their boxes, you know, like their collector boxes for their figures, you know. Cause like this, like I did like in previous videos of like NECA figures. Also had a uh, like Friday the Thirteenth Part Three, as you can see, Ultimate Jason. You know, they also had the uh, the final chapter one too as well. So right now I have like three of these. You know, <laughs> and I think these are cool. You know. <laughs> okay, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just get into like my uh, discussion on uh, this particular uh, figure right here from NECA, which is the NECA Ultimate Part Six Jason. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, first of all, as you can see right here, it's like the box itself, like I say, this is exactly how the theatrical poster looked for the movie, you know. And of course, this is based on like the, uh, the franchise, the horror franchise, though, that's Friday the 13th, which like, this is an old H, and I guess you could say, collection that I have right here, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the poster for this film looks just like uh, this right here, like this cover does for this figure, which I think is awesome. And of course, on the back, you know, you have like a little scripture which shows like the actual figure itself like Jason and also have like images of like the various like accessories that he has too like the, like that spear thing and like his gray you know his tombstone even like his mask like his face like unmasked you know now the scripture for it says uh, as a child Tommy Jarvis died did what many others died trying to do he killed Jason Voorhees the mass murderer who had terrorized the residents of Crystal Lake Years later, tormented by the fear that maybe Jason really isn't dead, Tommy and a friend make a faithful trip to Jason's grave. And of course, like, that's how this movie opens, you know. They go to the grave, you know, they, they bring Jason back. And this is the first time we actually see Jason like in zombie form, too, like zombie fire form, because he's actually truly dead at this point. He's just being like resurrected, you know. So this is when he really is like truly like unstoppable, you know, like a zombie, you know. The Jason that we really like know, you know, that you really, he is really known for being, you know. But anyway, now this ray, of course, it opens just like the other ones, which I think is so cool. I think NECA does an uh, excellent job on these right here. These are so awesome. Like these uh, these case stains, you know, that they have them in. Because you can see they have like an image of Jason, how the figure looks right here. Awesome looking, you know, it looks exactly how he did on the movie. And you also get like the, uh, the figure itself inside the box too as well, you know, like, and the various like accessories that he comes with. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get into this, I'm going to take them on out, you know, and get into my discussion on like the various accessories and the figure itself. And as you can see, this is the background uh, image that Jason comes with, you know, that you can actually put behind him, you know. It's like his actual grave, you know, like the actual coffin that he was in, looks like it. I don't really use these, you know. <laughs> Okay, right here, as you can see, this is the NECA Ultimate Part 6, Jason Voorhees. And these are like the accessories that he comes with. And as usual, I just touch on everything as I go through, you know. <laughs> but yeah, this is how he looks, you know. So what I do, they actually had him like unmasked. And you don't really get to see him like unmasked that long in the film. It's just like at the very beginning, you know. And it's not really that close up, you know. So I'm surprised they was actually able to get so much like detail like in his face itself, you know. Because you don't really get to see him that good in the film, you know. And of course he does have one eye. And like I said, at this point, Jason is like zombified. You know, he's like dead, you know. Like truly dead at this point, you know. He has been brought back from the grave, you know. So yeah, um, this is how he looks, you know. I think they did a good job on this. But I guess I'm kind of surprised, you know. That they got his, his face. I'm surprised his mask was actually off, you know. But I was how he kind of started in the film, you know. But anyway, uh... I think he's uh I think this looks pretty good, you know, like the detail, it looks exactly how he does like in the movie. Like these various like um 
pouches and belts and stuff that he has on. He had these same things on on the film, you know. Like these yellow gloves he has on, you know. He had these on in the movie too as well, you know. And of course he has on the same shirt and pants, you know. I guess you could say final chapter base, you know. So you could tell they actually buried Jason in those clothes, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, as I look at it, you know, this does have like a lot of articulation in it too. It does bend, you can bend it. I think it stands pretty well too. And again, I don't really like to touch, like bend mine too much, you know, because I know these can break easy, you know, so I just kind of be gentle with it. But yeah, it's arms, it can burn, bend that way, you know. Here is legs, you know, they can bend. Like a knee, you know, you can bend his knees like that. You can bend them like that too as well. Of course, they see when we're making those kind of movements, you know, he's kind of like a stiff type person, you know. <laughs> yeah, again, like I said, it has good articulation, you know, you can turn it, you can lift it up, you know. Now, the uh, Jason Voorhees figure, it comes with this headstone, as you can see, which has like his name on it, and it's exactly like this in the movie. As you can see, it has Jason Voorhees on it. That's very similar in size to the uh, the Pamela Voorhees one from the NECA Ultimate uh, Jason Part 4 figure. Well, they're not similar in size, but you know that's the one that they have for like his mother's grave, Pamela Voorhees. <laughs> but yeah, this is the tube stone that he comes with for like his own grave, you know. And it looks exactly how it does like in the movie too, you know. Like it has like detail in it, like you know, the, the rips and like breaks in it and stuff, you know, and so on. And of course, we also have, uh, this is Jason Voorhees' mask in the film, too, as well. This is the one that Tommy had brought to the grave site. It, well, I always thought it was kind of odd about it. You could tell this was actually a different mask, but it did still have, like, that axe uh, wound at the top, you know, from where he was hitting the head with the axe. <laughs> like, that's kind of cool. But I'm, I'm not too sure if it's really actually supposed to be the same mask, or this Tommy just made it that way, you know. I, I don't really, I'm not too sure. Here's like a knife that he had too in the film, like this combat knife that he had in the film. And of course here's his uh, signature weapon, the machete. And I guess it would have been kind of cool if that could put some blood on him, but this is still a pretty uh, decent machete, as you can see. He also has like this... Uh, this spear thing that he told he uh, broke off the fence after he was like resurrected and he was actually like killing people with this for a little while not too long but he actually did kill like a couple with this you know like he had told off a fence I think if I can remember correctly it's like spear looking thing it was like actually like part of like a fence and this right here is the um the actual thing that resurrected him that Tommy had stuck in his stomach you know and it had brought him back to life like when the lightning had struck it and they had resurrected uh, Jason when he was stabbing him with it. I think this is it. Because this was even broke off from like I think a fence or something. Okay. And he also has like an extra hand that he comes with too as well, you know, that you could change. So as you can see, this Jason, um, Ultimate NECA Jason figure didn't come with that many accessories like where it's like the part 3 and part 4 ones did. You know, they came with like a bunch of like accessories, you know. Whereas this, you only have like, um, I think what, seven accessories. Yeah, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven, you know, if you count like the mask, you know. Whereas like the other ones had like, a, you know, they had about the same, I think. Let me see, three, four, five. They had like, some of them had like about eight, you know, or so on, you know. So they, 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 they kind of run off each other, you know. But yeah, um, now Jason himself, you know, like his, like I said, his face looks pretty cool. Like the way he looked, the detail and everything, you know, it's awesome. And this is exactly how I did in the movie. So what I do is just touch on all the various, like, accessories that he comes with and what you can do with him, you know. One thing I think is kind of cool is, like, the knife right here, as you can see. You can put this, like, in Jason's hand, you know. And by the way, I already had changed, like, a fist, too, as well, you know. I already had took this fist off, you know. But as you can see, you can put the knife in his hand, too. Another thing Tim we're going to do is just put on the mask. <laughs> One thing I, know, I noticed about this, too, is like the head, it seems kind of, and I'm, I'm sure all of them probably like this, but it seems kind of like, you know, like wobbly, like, like it's wobbly, you know. Okay. 
But I think that's how it is, or better than they actually had this where you can take off the head, you know, like most necker figures, you know, well, like a lot of their figures. You could take off the whole head and put on like another one on the peg thing. Okay, so I got on this mask though, so that looks a little better, you know. Yeah, here's Jason. <laughs> As you can see, I got this knife in my hand. In his hand, I mean. But one thing cool about it too, which is awesome, you actually can put the uh, the knife in this actual pocket. I mean, like in this holster right here, which I think is awesome, you know. So you actually can put like this right inside here, like this, like line it up. And just slide it on down in. I think that's so cool. So I just leave it in there like that. <laughs> I think that's awesome. So as you can see, I have like the knife right down the side pocket, which is awesome. <laughs> Another thing too here is like the uh, the machete. And of course, you know, you can put this in his hand. Now I actually had to change the hand that the machete go in, so I can actually put it in his hand. So as you can see, there's the hand with the, uh, the machete in it. Awesome. That's exactly how you do it. They did a good job on this figure necklace, you know. <laughs> so that's one thing kind of cool. Another thing too, you can take like the machete out, out of Jason's hand, and then you can actually put it over here like in this holder stick right here, which is so awesome, I think, you know. So I mean, you can actually keep that, the items, like his accessories, you can actually keep them out and around Jason, just keep them like on him, you know, like holder stick, like, and they're like different, like, Holsters, you know, like the, uh, the one for the knife and the one for the uh, machete. Now, of course, I can say this is the hand, as you can see, and the tombstone. Now, this right here, this right here is the fence stand that I was talking about, too. Like I said, they kind of resurrected him, and he also uses this as a weapon. Now, you can actually use them for like with like a uh, one hand. I mean, like, you know, like you can put the spear like in one hand like this. I don't think he can actually hold it with two hands because he does have a hand that can like grip it like that. I don't think. I'm going to try. Or what I just noticed is you guys actually can put the spear together. As you can see it has like two ends on it, you know. And you actually can just put these together right like this. I didn't even notice that until like I just did it, you know. And as you can see it goes together like a long like spear. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? See how long it is? But I think Jason was really just using like only one right here, like this one right here. This is the only one that he was actually uh, using in the film itself, you know. And this is the one that kind of like resurrected him because it was like stabbed in him by Tommy. <laughs> and there, as you can see, is a size comparison with uh, the three Jason <laughs> figures, uh, ultimate Jason figures I have from NECA, you know. Because again, this is part three in the final chapter. Because of course, these are my two favorites right here, you know. like. Actually, two favorite films too of the, the series, you know. But I like Part Six too as well. And this was actually the one, Part Six, the actual one I actually got to see in the theaters. That was my first Friday the Thirteenth film that I saw in theaters, like back when I was a kid. <laughs> I remember my parents had took me to see it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, these are like the three. Uh, these are my three uh, figures, you know, so far, you know. And these like a, just a size comparison, you know. Cause I think they're all like what seven inches, you know, and so on, you know. Cause there was also a. Um, I know they just released a uh, part two, you know, for like the other uh, the burlap sack, like the bag sack, Jason, you know, from part two. They just released that one. Plus, they have the uh, the quarter scale, the 18 inch final chapter of Jason on the way, and I definitely want to try to get that one, you know, if I can. You know, I really would love to have that that huge Jason, the 18 one, you know. I would definitely want to have that one, you know. Okay, that's my NECA Ultimate Part 6 Jason, or you can call it NECA Friday 13 Part 6 Jason Lives figure, you know, Ultimate figure, you know. They have like different ways that they say the actual title for these figures, you know. But I think this is an awesome figure. It looks exactly how it does on the movie. Like I said, the accessories, they're not really too many, you know. But it's still like a decent amount, you know. It's, it's on par with like the other ones, you know. 
but like the detail of the figures are excellent you know and like I say this is the actual first uh well actually this is that I know of you know I'm hearing that this like the original one I couldn't remember I was like just a baby or something like that you know <laughs> but I did get to see this one you know like in theaters you know I did get to see this one though in theaters this is my uh that I can really recall you know seeing like in the theaters you know but um yeah I would definitely recommend this figure you know like I said I'm looking forward to um they just released the NECA Ultimate Part 2, Jason, I'm planning on getting out one too, you know. And I also want the quarter scale, like the 18 inch, the huge one, like I said, I would definitely like to get that Jason Voyage, you know. Okay, so uh, this is my uh, NECA Ultimate Part 6, Jason. Please leave a comment and subscribe too as well. <laughs>